my studio is Kin Software House. I started in uh, 2010. We are located in Prague and the uh, last three years we actually have this nice uh, uh, headquarter here in Orangerie, which looks like a castle. The vision uh, of the studio from the beginning was to build games that are somehow promoting uh, science and, uh, and engineering. My name is Marek Rosa and I'm founder and CEO of uh, Kin Software House. The first game was Minor Wars 2081, then uh, there was Minor Wars Arena, then there was Space Engineers and then there was uh, Medieval Engineers. Getting everywhere. Good news, engineer. We have the perfect weekend getaway just for you. And with a decent space-faring vessel, you can get there from any of the home system planets in no time. We built Space Engineers, which is a game where players uh, build spaceships and other engineering constructions and the game simulates it on very uh, like first principles level. Like you put together some blocks, they interact physically, so there is collisions, destruction, deformations, but they also uh, in, uh, interact or integrate on some kind of logical way. So, you know, they can send signals, messages, let's say you lose electricity, you lose lights and, and those kind of things. So when you put together a few blocks in Space Engineers, you suddenly get a ship or a car or something else. Somehow I felt that this will give infinite freedom to players. There is no story. People can create the story in their head for themselves. There are two ways how to look at this. One is that we will give them goals and they have to achieve them and, you know, like, uh, draw the uh, satisfaction from that. The other is that they create the goals for themselves. So somebody will say like, okay, today I want to build an elevator from Earth to Moon and just start building. And I think the se this second one, when player create their own goals, is much more interesting because the number of goals is infinite. We are using already existing physics engine called Havok and uh, we are then building some kind of physics layer on top of it. And uh, we don't need physicists, but the people who work with the physics engine or are building on top of it, they need to understand how, the, how to simulate the physics. It's about you. Mainly the audience is in the US, and then in Europe it's Germany or some other countries, and then Australia and Canada. So I think 80% is males then the strongest group is somewhere around 18 years old. In Kin Software House we are working on Space Engineers, but we also uh, are working on VRH3, which is game engine. And we are working for the last two years, and it will be then used in the future for our future games. One of the strongest uh, forces in the universe is need to create when you actually want to create something out of nothing. That's how, you know, like this universe gets um, more complex and more interesting. And so I'm doing that in games. You can really create new realities. That's what, what is interesting about this, that we have this reality here. You know, it's, it's nice. I mean, most of the time, many times it's not very nice. But in games, you can create any kind of reality you want, and I think that's just amazing.